Hello, this video is to demonstrate the new PDF annotating feature in Moodle 2.6. So you need to go to your class and click on the name of the assignment. And then click view grade all submissions. And here's a page where you'll quickly see all the name of your students, all the names of your students, um, whether it's been submitted or not. And to the right, you can tell what type of file they uploaded. So all these students here have submitted PDF files. And again, it has to be a PDF for this functionality to work. Um, a student will have to create the file in Word or Pages or Google Docs, um, but all of those programs have a simple export feature to, that allows them to save as PDFs. Um, so to access the PDF annotator, there's a grade column here, and there's this little tiny button underneath the grade column. So um, to the right of submitted for grading and underneath the grade column heading, you're gonna click that little box with the pencil sticking out of it. And this will load the grading summary for that student. So you'll see the submission status, uh, whether it was submitted on time, um, the grade heading is where you can type in the grade. There's a comment box. And if the student has uploaded a PDF, you will see this launch PDF editor. Um, if it's a Word document or another type of document, you will not see this button. So click that and the student's paper will load. And a PDF is um, a bit different from a Word file. Um, if you're grading in Microsoft Word, you might be used to typing in the text and tracking changes. A PDF is more like an image, so when you add comments, you're actually commenting on top of the paper. So instead of being able to type right in the text, um, you're going to click up here, this little paper icon, and then you can drag, like click in the paper and drag and drop, and that will create this box that you can type comments. And you can add more just by clicking it again and dragging and dropping elsewhere. There are, if you don't like this color, there are other color options, including clear. And you can always go back in and edit just by clicking in. Um, there are lots of other options too. Over here you have, um, this is a little squiggly line, um, circles, squares, highlighter, and you can change the color. Etc. Um, on the far right, there are four different stamps. There's an X, a frowny, a smiley, and a check mark. And to add these, you just select the one you want, and again, drag and drop. This mouse um, allows you to move things around. So if I wanted to move my smiley face, I would click the mouse and then click the smiley, and then I can drag it. It also gives you the little delete button. So Click my mouse, click that, and then delete. So that's how you move things around and delete them. So when you're done, um, well, if there's more pages, you'll click up here to navigate to, uh, to more pages. Um, but when you're done, all you do is X out. You can add more comments here in the comment box and add your grade. Um, and then to move on to the next student, you'll want to make sure you save, either save changes if you're done, or you can save and show next, and that will take you directly to the next student's grading summary. So that can save you some time going back and forth. So here I am at the next student. Um, and when you relaunch the PDF editor, so if I were to go back to that student and reopen it, everything that you um, commented, drew, all of that will be saved. So hopefully that helps you get started. If you have any questions on how to use this feature, please contact Erin at 7426.